know, I think a lot of people know how to do something, say they know how to get fit. It's not difficult to figure out how to get stronger. You know, there's a gym pretty like, much like everyone knows 200 meters away from anywhere you are. But the difference is between knowing what to do and actually doing it is where being disciplined really comes in. Yeah, I don't know how many times we've talked together where You've told, like, you know that you should go up and work out, and I say, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But yeah, it's about taking the actual action in the end. Yeah. What do you think is the difference between, like I said, people know what it takes to get fit or to, you know, get stronger or faster. What do you think the difference is between the people who actually do it because everyone knows how to do it. It's not like some people have more information than others. Uh, I think it's the, di the discipline, making the decision to, to just not think about, you have to go work out now, just getting your stuff on and going to work out. What do you think happens in the person's mind when, that, when they make that decision? Well, they decide with themselves that, that they're going to do it. They're the only ones who, who are going to decide right now if they're going to go work out or if they're going to stay home. I know that for me, it's about figuring out why I want to do it. You know, it's easy to say I want to get, you know, fit or in shape, but knowing why I want to, what I'm going to get out of that. You know, it's not a necessity to be stronger, to be able to run at a certain pace. But for me, I know that I feel more clear in my head if I've worked out. So I'm kind of doing it more to stay focused on other things and to get disciplined in other things than I am to actually get stronger or faster? Yeah. I think kind of what I've done is I've linked more pleasure with working out, if that's what we're talking about, and enough pain associated with not doing it that it's become something I have to do and not something I should do. Yeah, so it's, it's always more important that you want to do, you know, more a negative than a, I mean, more positive than a negative. You don't want it to be, okay, fine, I'll go up to and work out today, you know, like I should be. It's I like, should, I, should I work want out. to go up, up and work out today because that's what's going to make my life and my body better, better for me, or, you know. I think you can also have some negative thoughts about it. You don't only have to think of all the things you're going to get out of working out. You're also going to have to think of the consequences you'll have to suffer if you don't work out. And if you make those strong enough, that might might really make it a must. I don't think just having the good things in mind is enough. I think sometimes you need to be aware of how yeah, your I think health will I suffer, think... how your ability to function for longer periods of time. Um, I definitely think that that's helped me as well in personal experience. The fact that knowing that the, the pain that I'll feel myself if I don't do what I should be doing. I mean, that's, that's also been a fuel for me, a motivation. So yeah, you're right in that.
that there's also something to do with the, the challenge of pushing yourself at least once a day. And it's a great way of doing a great way of doing that is through physical activity. It's a really good way of strengthening your brain. The obvious benefits are your physical health. But the less obvious, but probably more important, are the mental benefits. Which is kind of what I meant by how I can focus for longer periods of time. Yeah. Um, for example, like, you know, I've been training for the marathon. There's no... There's, when I wake up and I know that I have to go for a 25-kilometer run, I don't get super excited about it first thing when I wake up. You know, it's raining outside, it was snowing the other day. But what does get me excited is what I'm going to get out of it mentally, the mental strength I'm going to build from going for that run and pushing myself past my previous barriers, running a faster time, running further. Yeah, I mean, I also feel that, that just in these past three months when I've really started focusing on getting a healthier body mm -hmm. and, and how my mentality has been affected through that, yeah. I also feel way more clear-minded and, and just sort of re a... ready for some challenges that are in front of me instead of wanting to back away from them. It's a very easy way of kind of snapping yourself out of a negative mind state. State of mind. Yeah. If you're feeling down, you're feeling stressed, you're feeling worried, whatever it might be, it's so much easier to go out, go for a run, and go lift some weights, and change your your state of mind that way than it is to just sit and think about it and try to get some results that way. And then other, other, other simple things, like the confidence you start feeling just by lifting some weights and slowly f seeing the small progressions you've made. And yeah, it's a, it, you see results instantly. It's not like, you know, like a lot of other things that take months or years before you start to really see the, the results from the work you put into it. Working out, you instantly feel the benefit, yeah. and that's really, really yeah, and the, really good. The, the satisfaction of afterwards, you know, taking a shower and just knowing that you told yourself today that you were going to work out and you did it, and just such a small thing can bring a lot of satisfaction and really brighten up your day, at I least think, per personally. I think the key with what you just said there is that it's a small thing that can make you feel better. I think being disciplined in something like working out is the first step in moving towards being disciplined in other areas of your life that are arguably more important. Yeah. It's a really good kind of gateway into a, a disciplined, purpose-filled lifestyle. And I also feel like through working out, you real, really realize how far you can push yourself and some, some, in some exercises, how, how much more you can do than you actually think and realize that you can do yourself. I think another important part is being able to ask yourself the right kind of questions, which relates back to finding out why you want to work out, if that's what you want to do, and not just staying on the thought that you, you should work out. 
if you set yourself you know, questions that are able to move you forward instead of hold you back, that's really going to make a big difference. I mean, like, if you're someone who struggles to go to the gym regularly, you might be asking yourself questions like, why can't I be disciplined? Why do I struggle to get the same kind of joy out of working out? I just find it painful. Oh, it takes so long to, you know, pack all your stuff, go to the gym, change, do all the working out, go back to the training room, change again, drive all the way back. You're asking yourself the wrong kinds of questions. You should be asking yourself, what do I get out of it? How can I learn to start enjoying it instead of why don't I enjoy it? Because if you're asking yourself, why don't I? Then you're going to start thinking of reasons why, whether or not they're really true. I think if you ask yourself, how can I start to enjoy it? You're going to come up with an answer just the same way. And that's a lot more, you get a lot more out of that way of thinking. And it's also the same thing with the negative aspects. If you're a person who isn't working out, you have to start doubting your current beliefs and, and behaviors like, like, am I really getting something good out of staying at home all day and laying in my bed? Yeah. And then start doubting that and then slowly your, your brain will automatically start thinking that, that there's need for change. Yeah. And stuff like that. And that starts by asking the right questions. Yeah.